Hey, what's going on guys? I'm Dr. Boyce Watkins. Welcome to the Black Financial Channel. This is theblackfinancialchannel.com. So it looks like the stock market has taken a major hit today on June 26th. Uh, a lot of it has to do with Texas. Um, the governor, Greg Abbott, has announced that he's going to roll back the reopening of Texas because of a spike in hospitalizations due to the coronavirus. Um, quote, at this time, it is clear that the rise in cases is largely driven by a certain number of activities, uh, including Texans congregating in bars. Uh, coronavirus cases are spiking and reopenings are being delayed, which at a minimum will impact earnings, says Tom S.A., founder of the Sevens Report. The resurgence in coronavirus cases is raising concerns that the rebound may be short-lived as voluntary or potentially more government-mandated economic shutdowns are being increasingly like or becoming increasingly likely. Uh, shares of companies that would benefit from an economic reopening tumbled, uh, including United Airlines, American Delta, etc. Uh, the the Fed uh, gave also did an annual stress test that showed that some banks could hit minimum capital levels uh, in scenarios related to the coronavirus pandemic. So basically, they've concluded that a lot of banks, if uh, if a lot of their businesses, underlying businesses that they loan to, uh, are struggling and go bankrupt, uh, these banks are going to get hit hard. And, uh, and so moving on, uh, they said that the Fed vice chair says, while I expect banks to continue to manage their capital and actions and liquidity, prudent, liquidity risk prudently and in support of the real economy, there is material uncertainty about the trajectory of the economic recovery. So basically they're saying, uh, you know, we, we think that they're going to do a good job. Uh, they're going to be prudent uh, in terms of managing uh, the risk that their liquidity could dry up. Uh, and, th and there is a real economy that is going to hopefully recover uh, you know, on its own at some point once this virus gets under control. But there's a lot of uncertainty about what that trajectory is going to look like. So effectively, the way I interpret that to mean, or what, what I'm seeing here is, you know how the movie is going to end. You just don't know what's going to happen between now and the ending of the movie. So uh, we are going to get a, vi a vaccine at some point. That's going to be a big deal in terms of helping people feel more comfortable, things like that. Um, you know, mandatory vaccinations. I, I wouldn't be surprised if that was a thing. Um, and, uh, you know, I, I don't know how I feel about that, but you know, that's what you're seeing. Um, so, so some of the bank shares have dropped like uh, bank of America, JP Morgan, which went up a couple days ago, Nike shares also uh, dropped because they did not meet their earnings expectations. Uh, and so, uh, there is a record rise though in consumer spending, uh, in May, uh, the commerce department reported Friday that spending increased 8.2%, which is a positive sign for the economy and a, a growing number of negative uh, amid a growing number of negative coronavirus headlines so what's probably going to occur if you want you know the dr boyce breakdown on this um i think that the virus is going to be here um but the question is is it going to be in media uh once the headlines start to shift <coughs> then i think you know the <coughs> excuse me the, the quality of the news is going to shift and also um you know we know how the movie is going to end we know that eventually a vaccine will be announced that's going to be a big bump in the market, I would I would be surprised if it wasn't. And so um, Texas rolling back though is a big deal because Texas was one of those places that was pretty stubborn about you know insisting upon a reopening. So um, maybe they reopen again. Uh, they they got to reopen, right? You know, politicians depend on the economic prosperity of their community. So if people are mad that they don't have jobs, you're not going to be in office very long. So I think that they're what they're going to do is they're going to go back to the drawing board. And they're going to schedule a new reopening. And maybe they're just going to say, look, you know, the bars will stay shut down. I think it's going to become a more isolated type of response as opposed to saying, let's shut everything down for everybody. I think they'll say, shut certain things down for somebody, right? So some people will be shut down. Some people won't. Maybe senior citizens stay home because that's the majority of the people that are being killed. People over the age of 75. Most people are not 75 years old. But then the other thing is uh, most people are not catching the virus in every single scenario. They're catching it in the bars, right? Or, or maybe there's some other places that where people are cuddled, you know, huddled up together that, that's causing a problem. So you just kind of focus on that. And then also people wearing masks, washing their hands. I think that this is going to be much ado about nothing. I think that, of course, the headlines are going to keep getting worse because I think that there is a, there is kind of an effort to – it's a big story. It's interesting, right? People are obsessed with it. So, you know, if you announce a celebrity has coronavirus, that's going to get a headline. But I think at some point what's going to happen is that there's going to be a bigger headline. I don't know what it's going to be, but there's going to be a bigger headline. And, and at that point, the focus will shift. Uh, so, um, you know, the virus is real. We know this. But this market decline is not real in my opinion. I am one of the bulls on the market in terms of saying, okay, stocks are temporarily cheaper. I'm going to go buy some more because I know that if I waited out a year or two or less, uh, 
you know, this is going to come back. So the stock pick of the day, if you guys are interested in a stock I'm interested in or a stock I'm looking at, I really like Amazon. I'm buying some more Amazon, adding more to my portfolio because Jeff Bezos just seems to have it right. And they're announcing new, greater new things every, every year. And I believe that that innovation, that desire to kind of push the boundaries and, uh, and to do it in a profitable way is what's going to lead Amazon to keep growing. So that's my stock pick of the day. If you want to follow my stock picks in general, uh, feel free to subscribe to the Black Stock Market Program. Uh, I have all, all a lot of the, the stocks that I'm, I'm buying. I just tell you guys what I'm buying. Also, you can learn all kinds of great stuff about investing uh, in the first month. Is You can do a 14-day free trial, uh, I think, for a dollar. I think it's just a dollar. So feel free to go to theblackstockmarketprogram.com, T-H-E. That's theblackstockmarketprogram.com. I'm Dr. Boyce Watkins. Have a good day. Hit the thumbs up button, please, on your way out. I'll talk to you guys soon. Take care. Bye-bye.